Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. The day comes to a close in teaching. But there really truly is no close, no goodbye. And we've said this before so many times, the clock you have is not the one that the creative source has. There's no linearity. There's no time. The, the minutes do not pass by for us. The whole concept of time is completely different. And for us, it means that you are forever. And that the soul that you claim is yours is the one that we claim as friend, as family, is always with us. That when you leave the building today, nothing changes in a relationship you might feel is new with spirit. That literally as you walk away from this space, you cannot escape the love of God. If things have been said this day or the day before which ring in truth to you or give you an experience which is enlightening, it stays. There is this perception that perhaps the energy created in one place or one area or one room kind of sticks to the place when you leave. And it's not so. Especially in the area of energy. Today all that has been taught truly revolves around energy. A word that is used so often in esoteric circles, but just lately in this new age that we speak of in the new energy since 2012, the word energy itself means something else. Dear ones, the human being is designed, designed, to create certain kinds of energy mostly through conscious thought that which you have called intent intuition and it is focusable when you think of a consciousness you think of something that might be static he has perhaps a certain consciousness you would say we think of consciousness as something that is targeted, that has a focus, that has purpose and reason. You might then have a consciousness of belief. And that is something we wish to speak of. It really hasn't been talked about much lately. The word belief. I want you to sit here for just a moment. Whoever is listening, we know who you are. As you sit, I want you to ponder some things with me. What is your belief? Specifically, what is your belief about what you can do? And it will range from nothing to everything depending upon that which we have called the filters of the human being. But I want you to rethink for a moment what you think belief is. For us, belief is focusable energy. Inside you right now, there is an engine of belief. We use the word engine because when you start it, it produces something. It goes somewhere. It's a vehicle of energy. If you sit for a moment and you ponder what is possible with what you've learned today, 
Do you believe it? And there will be different degrees of this. And it will depend upon that which has happened before, what you have tried, whether you believe, there's the word, whether you appreciate how much physics is involved in belief. Energy is something that you can measure and track and see. In the case of consciousness, intention, belief, intuition, they seem like esoteric, elegant concepts, and not physics. But to those who have the knowledge of multidimensionality, it's a puzzle in physics. What if I told you that your degree of belief postures your ability for healing? Your degree of belief postures your ability for ascension on the planet. Literally, your degree of belief actually will determine how much you awaken to God. Because belief is energy. And this can be a block or an accelerator. Back to the filters. What have you been told is possible in your body? Not what you've been told today or yesterday, but through your life. What have doctors told you? What has school told you? What have your parents told you? What have those around you told you? Is the paradigm of what is possible with the human body. Many years ago, we gave you an axiom, a new paradigm, something to think about, a prediction, a prophecy. <clears throat> And it said that someday the healing of the human body will be completely and totally dependent on consciousness. That there will be the same treatment for many and some will be healed and some will not. That it's no longer the linearity of chemistry the reactions of the human body to input, ingestion, injection, that instead there would be the kinds of healings which literally were dependent on the energy of belief. And now you sit in that time. Yesterday we gave a channel, we extend it now just to say this, that medicine and healing are going to change on the planet. And part of the things that get in the way of what you would expect is the knowledge of what you have had. And the knowledge of what you have had says that cure is linear and for all. If you find the cure to a disease, it's absolute. Everyone says, wonderful, you found the cure to disease. Little do you know that now if you apply that a cure, some disease will be cured and some will not. It is the first time. It's not what we will call one pill for all. Because suddenly, you have to have the consciousness of belief for the cure. This makes you totally and completely responsible for your own body. No matter what the cure is, no matter who has the cure, no matter what company produced it, no matter what the technology behind it, no matter what the elegant physics is right in front of you, it won't work if you don't believe it. That's new. 
I give you this right now so you'll understand the profundity of your power. As you leave the room, do you believe what was taught today? <laughs> or do you simply accept it as something nice? Perhaps as principles of the future or for someone else. You may see, yes, I believe it. Really? Really? Enough so that you can use it and expect the results that are possible? Dear ones, there is no judgment from anyone about your disbelief. For all of this, and we've said it before, has been given to you by the teachers you trust. A paradigm of existence happens because you have survived within it. It works. And suddenly we want to break the paradigm. And say that energy works in your body in a way that is going to heal you of any disease. Any ailment that you might have. Stand by for another paradigm coming your way of how to heal the human body and celebrate all of it. But be aware that if you don't fully cognize it, it won't be for you. A great teacher that you have on this planet has given some advice. He calls belief premature cognized <laughs> belief. <laughs> it is premature perception. And what it does, it says that early in life you decide what is possible and impossible and you put yourself into a perceptive prison. <laughs> In other words, even before you hit the room, you know what's not possible. How does that feel? It is how humans believe, how animals are trained. Premature, cognized commitment. It is so strong in humans that you have to understand that you have it or you don't. What have you been trained out of as you come in here? I want to show you just how powerful you are. You have heard of stories where a human being can heal themselves instantly. Spontaneous remission is what you call it. The people who stand around the bedside of someone who has had this happen are rejoicing and praising spirit, laughing and crying at what has happened, a miracle in the body of their loved one. Medicine calls it spontaneous remission. Those who are spiritual call it a miracle because it's unexpected, because you don't believe it because you don't think the human body is designed for it. Therefore, it had to be from God. Oh, dear human being, you just watched the power that every single human has within them through the energy of belief. And for whatever reason, and perhaps it was the end of the string of belief for the person who was perhaps affected, and for an instant they relaxed and surrendered anything that anyone had ever told them was possible and allowed their body to instantly heal themselves of some of the worst of the worst the planet can give you. That's belief. It shattered precognitive commitment. 
It, it actually shattered that which we would say was the imprisonment of what you came in with, of what you believe. Inside each of you is a limit. How far can it go? What does it, what does it entail within you? And you sit there and you think you don't have it, and human being, you do. To such an extent that I'm going to tell you that the affirmations given this very day, the ones that were trained to you, we invite you to start using regarding belief. Construct your own that would shatter the barrier of what you've been told is possible with the human being. So that when the time comes for the energy of you, along with that which is a cure, will create the cure and not have a barrier within it that you didn't expect. You are absolutely a product of what has happened to you in the old energy and in the past. You carry around blocks and filters you don't even know you have. And the question you would ask is, if I don't know I have it, how can I get rid of it? And the answer has always been the same. Don't worry about the minutia. You have the ability to soar beyond these things through that which is your intuition and that which is the power of affirmations, the power of talking to the smart body within you, that power of training the innate that all things are possible through that which is love and compassion. It'll take care of it. Because your innate body is responsible for shattering those beliefs through your consciousness of permission to do so. You've got to build the bridge between the energy of the conscious human being and that which the smart body does. For all of the blocks and the filters are in place within your innate because you created them and you put them there through that which is called life living. You've cognized things that you don't need anymore. That is to say, you believe things that you were told that you don't need anymore. It's time to tell innate who you are. That's what this day has been about. Through all the exercises, through all the trainings, there is indeed a new normal on this planet. And if you're going to get through it, you're going to have to start using some of these tools, the kinds of tools you've always had but never understood the power of. The toolbox is here. They may look the same, but they're not. This is what I wanted to give you today. There are those listening to this right now that needed to hear it. There is a tendency, finally, there is a tendency, dear ones, for you to start listing what you can't do. <laughs> you would even know you're doing it. Did you know that you list your blocks when you decide, how can I do something? How many times do I do it? What is the process of doage? <laughs> Every single one of those is being asked because there is a block in your mind to go beyond. Do you see how it works? If you stop asking the questions of how many and how, when and where and why, and instead go to the source of the issue, that's going to be the compassion of the Creator you carry around with you that's literally sitting there, a jar ready to be opened and put upon you by a source which is always in you that is the consciousness and the compassion of the Creator. 
You got it, old soul. You've got experience in it. How, how did you become a shaman in the past? It's still in there. What did you know for the magic that you did for others? It's still in there. Time to apply it to yourself. And you can. What are you going to say to your body as you leave this place? The statement has been, when do you give permission? And when do you give an affirmation of the I am? Why don't you start with this one? I give permission to be the I am. <laughs> you have just told your innate to clear these things and stand by for the magnificence to come. Go from this place changed. And so it is.